Hello everyone. I am here today to do a little lower body and glute workout for you. I need you to go ahead and get a few things ready before we get started and that is going to be a comfortable set of dumbbells that you want to work with for your lower body today as well as a mat if you want to lie that down to do your um, a few of the exercises we have um, to do on the floor and water as always if you need to keep hydrated through your um, sets and that's about it. All right, so let's get started. I want you to make sure that you get in a good warm up of some sort, some jumping jacks, jogging in place, treadmill, elliptical, a bike, go take a jog around the corner, um, whatever you can, stretch. I'll go through a few little basic stretches with you today for your legs. I want you to go ahead and pull your knee up. I mean, pull your heel up rather, keeping your knee right beneath your hip and you're gonna just hold it. That's gonna stretch this quad. Switch. If you need to hold on to anything, if you feel like your balance is off, go ahead and grab a wall or piece of equipment. No use wobbling all over. Just kind of use fingertip, light fingertips. And then you'll eventually get a little bit stronger in that balance area as you Start doing some of my ab videos and get a stronger core. And I want you to stretch really high and then bring yourself down. You should feel this in the hamstrings, right up the back side of your leg, putting the pressure on your heels. And draw it up. And I want you to just Spread your feet open, turn those toes out, kind of side lunge into your whatever side you choose first, but you want to not let your knee pass your, your toe and keep the pressure in your heel. A lot of times you see people with it like this, okay? You want to just keep it flat. And switch, and you should kind of feel that pull in that inner thigh region. And just hold. Get it all loose. Okay, let's just do a stretch down. And roll it up. All right, what I want you to do is first to start off with your mat. Lie that down unless you're on some nice, cozy, um, soft carpet. Um, if not, some people even like to roll it, kind of double it up when, where their knee is going to be, the base knee, because it is kind of hard on that knee joint. What we're going to do is we're going to do a straight leg lift and then a donkey kick and then extend out straight leg. And we're going to go, let's go 40 seconds and then we'll switch. And ready, set, begin. Squeeze your glute of the leg that's lifting. Main thing is to keep your knee stiff on that straight leg one. And your donkey kick when you're kind of pressing your heel upwards, not outwards upwards towards the seal. And put your mind in that glute of the leg that's lifting. Okay, let's go ahead and switch. You can add dumb, um, ankle weights to these to make it a little bit more intense. Feel it a little bit more in those glutes if you're at a higher level. And we're going to begin the other side. What you don't also want to see is this. A lot of people arch and throw it up there as high as you can. It's not really a big range of motion on this one as much as it's really engaging, putting your mind in, engaging that muscle that, that you're working in that glute and letting that do the lift. Okay, the other one, you're going to get more back in it and you're not going to feel the squeeze in your glute. All right. 
right, good job. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way. I want you to go ahead and grab your dumbbells. And we're going to do an alternating um, lunge to squat, okay? What I want you to do is you're gonna just bring your dumbbells, whatever ones you choose, either on your shoulders or right here hanging at your sides. And we're gonna do a back lunge, keeping your knee right above your heel, followed by a side squat. And keep going, two, three, four, Good, that's 12 on that side, that's 12 each. 12 lunge, 12 squats. To repeat, I'll give you this view. Pressure in your heel, knee right above. Squat a little wider than hip width apart. Pressure in both heels. Get down low as you can, but not past parallel. Exhale up. All right, good job. Let's go ahead, move on to a hamstring one, a bent leg deadlift. What I want you to do is put your feet a little wider than shoulder width, hip width apart. And I want you to stick your butt out as you push the dumbbells kind of away from your body and just let it stretch, draw up. Pressure in your heels. If you don't have locked knees, just slightly bend. Feel it right down the hamstring. No curve in your back, just straight. Good job. All right, we're going to end with some low jacks and I want you to um you can either use your dumbbells or not we're going to go for 30 seconds and we're going to land into it with soft knees okay what I don't want to see is this then this okay just one smooth motion bent legs and begin Sink it down and push. All right, good job. That was your 30 seconds. We're done with our little short lower body one. You can go back through that one more time. Add in some more resistance, add a little time, add those ankle weights in. And I hope that you have a nice little burn tomorrow, the next day in that lower half, your glutes, some quads and some hamstring. If you have any questions, email me at campsweat at gmail.com.